do. You are right. I'm out with Billy again. Rick T Outdoor Adventures and Billy. And we're out for night. Uh, been a fantastic warm day today, hasn't it? Uh, beautiful out tonight. Sun's on its way down as usual. So I've, probably, I've got about an hour and a bit to go though, so I'm alright. I've got time-ish before it gets dark. Uh, but I'm going to knock up a small uh, pot, a willow pot. So it's a good time of year for doing these nowadays because the willow bark's uh, easy to peel off and what have you. Yep, same as when you're making willow cordage and what have you, you've got to peel the uh, the willow bark off. We're going to use the same sort of uh, technique, but we're going to make a pot out of it. Dead handy for storing stuff. You can store your uh, charred punk wood, things like that, your matches. Uh, store all sorts of things. It's nice having those natural sort of containers. You can even use them for... Uh, sort of uh, that vacuum so if you've got your punk wood you put it in it put the lid on and then it snuffs it out so you can even use them for that uh, I'll show you how I do it anyway let's crack on with it right so first job I've got a bit of uh, some roots from forest so I'm going to use these yeah got some pine spruce roots and what have you out at forest so we're going to use these these are going to come in handy we're going to use them to fasten it up so I've got them I've got a small stick that I'm going to use. This is going to be to uh, to pry my willow bark off. As you walk up through the forest, you walk up uh, along the river. So alongside the river, I've got a bit of bark, cut a bit of bark, a bit of willow bark. It's, uh, it's got a bit of damage up here, so I'm going to use this bottom bit. I've also in my rucksack uh, somewhere, let's have a butcher's. I should have some uh, some pine pitch. So we're going to use this as well. Uh, I've not done a video on how you make this, but uh, it's dead easy. So it obviously comes from these uh, pine trees and what have you. It's made from the, the resin, yep, that you can find leaking out of the trees when a tree's been injured. And you mix it with a bit of uh, charcoal and then some, some herbivore sort of rabbit poo, something like that, deer poo that's dry. Mix it up, put that in. That just stops it from cracking. Gives it a bit more of a malleable, yep. So, so it doesn't, it's not as brittle, so it doesn't break then and smash. So it's a really good glue, so we're going to use some of this. Like I say, I've not done a video on it, but uh, I think, I'm sure I've seen it past. I'm sure I've seen one of uh, Mark Bailey, so, and no doubt he did a brilliant job. So I'll stick the link up here for Mark's, yeah. I'll probably do one at some stage, but I'll stick the link up here. And that'll be Mark Bailey's on how to make uh, pine pitch glue, yeah. I'm sure he's done one. If he hasn't, you won't see this. If he has, you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be up there anyway so we're going to use this as well so all right let's crack on with this i'll need my saw and i'm just going to use my uh, swiss army knife for this really so the great bits of kit these i mean this one the blooming uh, the saw bit that's a nail file the saw bit's fantastic, you know, if you're using, uh, if you're making cordage and you want to get rid of all the uh, the outer bark, it's fantastic at it, it just, it's got a real good sharp edge, it's great for, for uh, using with a ferrocerium rod as well, or anything like that, yeah it's brilliant. But anyway, for a minute, we're going to make this into a container, yep. So I've already scoured it down here. I'm going to start cutting this off. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this. So all I'm doing is I'm just getting under these edges. I'm just going to peel this bark off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've not got a massive amount of light left, so I need to crack up. Billy, come here, boy. I need to crack on with this job. You can do this with knife, but uh, obviously with a knife, you're in danger of coming through it. And it's nice to have a, a waterproof container. So, I mean, you can always mend the holes, repair the holes with uh, with your pine pitch. I'm going to use that as well in a minute. Right. So that's my piece of bike. Yeah, so we've got it off. It's split a bit in a couple of little places, but uh, I'll patch them together with a bit of that, uh, bit of that glue. Right. Let's have a look. So we'll go for one about that bit. Right, we've got them two cut off. I'm gonna tidy these up a bit. We will, or you get loads of little these little uh, thorny side bits growing out of them. I'm just gonna cut them off. And I want to make these into. Uh, these are gonna be a plug, plug for either end, a plug for the bottom, and then a lid for the top. The usual script. I'm going to cut round the same depth all the way around. Once you've cut them down, equal all the way around. If you cut yourself as well, you can always use your uh, your bit of pine sap to sort that out. So we're gonna, I'm going to cut this uh, bottom bit off now. Again, when you're cutting like this, always make sure it's not going onto your thumb, it's going behind it. Everything takes time. I'll do well if I can get this done before it sunsets. Right, so that's me, uh, yeah, so I made two of them, yeah, so what I'm going to do with them, yeah, so one's going to be my main plug, that's going to be my bottom one, yeah, so I've got my bottom one, I've got my birch bike, overlapping, and then this is ultimately going to be my lid. Yeah. So now I need to glue this or stitch this, whatever. 
I've done both ways in the past. Sometimes you can stitch them, sometimes glue them. Just try either way, whatever way you fancy. You can also put a loop in that top if you want. Right, let's get on with that before it goes dark. You could use a fire or a lighter or whatever you wanted. I've got a little candle. There's a light in there. I'll put it in my mess tin just to shield it from the wind, really. Right, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to heat up my. Uh, my glue. Can heat that up. Put this over the top. So there. Not exactly clean. A little bit uh, scruffy, but for a quick job, we're on with it. Got my lid. Container. Put my lid back on. Yeah, put a bit of gear in there. We can finish it off with a bit of sprue roots round it if we want. That's your little willow bike container. Quick job. What's that took me? Oof. Hardly oh, took me an hour that ish. Which ain't bad going, is it? Still chasing time. I hope everyone's had a top Easter. And you've not been working too hard if you've been working, yeah. yeah it's good to be able to do stuff quickly sometimes. Sometimes you've got to, haven't you? Not necessarily all the time. A lot of these skills, indigenous wise. They'd have been done without campfire at night. They're in the shelter, weren't they? Bit of a breeze, bit of a breeze is just starting. So I'm going to split this down. Yeah. And I'm going to put some of this on it as well. I'll double it up. Make sure it's nice and uh, nice and finished off. Tell you what, when that sun goes down, I feel a bit of a breeze, especially when you're uh, a bit follically challenged like myself. Right, let's do it. Close that up, make it look good. Here, Billy. Sorted, that's one bit. Cut that off. Just giving it that bit more, holding it together. Smaller bit. Oh, getting a bit cowdy. 
So there, sorted. So how long did that take me? About an hour and a half, something like that, start to finish. Might have been less than that, I don't know. Sun's just dropping down now, so I can feel it getting a bit cowdy. Uh, I'll get out, we'll get, get moving in a minute. Get moving. But, uh, hey, thanks for joining us anyway. Rick T, Outdoors Adventure, and uh, just watching a kestrel flying over here. Yeah, surprise still out at this time. But anyway, yeah, so there we are. That's it. Yeah, decent little job for that sort of time, wasn't it? Hey, so pop your lid off, put in what you want. Yeah, bang on, put your lid back on. Nice little willow bark container. Yeah, sealed and everything. That'll be pretty waterproof, that as well. So, anyway, thanks for joining us and look after yourselves and uh, have a top weekend. I'm going to get Billy out for a wander fruit forest now. We'll have a bit of a walk through it, deck. And, uh, yeah, spot on. See you rest at night out. Look after yourselves. Thanks a lot. Catch you soon. Ta-da.